Hey guys, it's MJ again. I've been getting a lot of requests on my Domino's add-on and how I have it set up. I, I can't figure out how to actually import it. I don't know if Domino's has an import where I can just give you the link. I know you can go through your WTF file and some other stuff, workarounds. I uh, didn't really know how to do that. And I looked up, I searched, tried to find some ways. I didn't really feel comfortable enough to do it that way. So. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how I set up and I'll go slow through each one so you can either pause and see the numbers that I use on the sliders for my dominoes. So I'll go ahead and get into it and start adding each add-on that I use. So first add-on, we'll go ahead and drop dominoes in. reload and then dominoes pops up I'm not going to set them just yet I'll go ahead and add add-ons as well as my easy frames easy frames that's my health bars down here and normally they're up here they'll be right there when you load in so I'll go ahead and leave them up there for now next add-on I use we'll go ahead and put my details on details I usually keep over here and then I, my map up here I also use an add-on for that go add-ons basic mini map basic mini map options go together that puts my map down here if you go to interface add-ons you can see I have my easy frames now you can see on mine I have my class uh, my picture normally it will be your class icon so how you change that is you go to player and then on your portrait you go to default normally it's set like this at when you download it I like mine to have it on default just make sure you go to each one because if you go to target this will also be on class portraits so set it to default your focus to default party as well put those on default so you see people's pictures or you can leave it as the class and that's about it for my easy frames now normally when my map is down here let's see game we'll go ahead and get into dominoes I take my details make it about the size of my map and I put it right on top right there now my quest log over here I don't really like it like this I feel like it's too far on my screen so an add-on that I use is that move anything I'll reload that and that put I have it put way over here and all you do is you go into move anything you click on it and then you just type in quest and then you can move you just click on anything you want in the game I mean you can literally move anything you literally just you can go through all these options see what you want to move you can hide it you can turn it on you can move it I also put as you can see over here I put my buffs up in the top left instead of having them in the right I keep them in the top left and then my debuffs will be above my uh, I'll show you that here in a second when I move my dominoes for you guys slash dom config bars press ok so normally how I do this extra bar there my rolls you know try to put it over here out the way extra bar out the way alerts the top of my screen these mirror one two threes I don't use these at all so I just leave them there my cast bar I'm gonna put that down the bottom 
action bar 10, 9, and 8 I do not use. And what you do is if you read it, it says middle click or shift click to hide. So I'm going to middle click it, hide, hidden, hidden, hidden. So it won't be on my screen at all. My encounter bar will move that in a second. Pet action bar as well. Exit vehicle, I usually leave right here by my, my, by my mini map. Action or the target heads, talking heads. This is whenever quest pops up or something pops up and there's they're talking. I usually leave that up here as well. Now action bar seven and six, those are gonna go on the sides. My menu right here, I'm gonna right click that. I have this small. Pad and I keep it zero, so 85. Spacing zero. The columns though, I go all the way to like almost a square right there. So column six, fading. I have this all the way out. Now what this does, I'll show you. So when you put it right here, I have it over here and it's faded. All right. Let you go ahead and look at these. That's how I have it. 85006. I'll close it. Now I'm going to exit this for a second to show you what the fading does. So the fading you don't see it, right? It's not over here. So it's off my screen. I don't really need it because I use I use like quest log, I use L all of that you can not have that fading just by not sliding that so if you take fading off you can see the whole bar again I don't really click on these to use them so I don't need it too much like I said I use all the hotkeys for those so I'll go ahead and close that back Now down to my action bars, number five and four. These are the ones that I keep on the side. We'll go ahead and do three, two, and one. So three is usually at the bottom. I'm gonna open it. Size, we'll go to six. Scaling, I go to 80. Like I said, you can do any size you want. Actually, I do. I think that's 85. 85. I try to put it right in the middle. I use this purple line right here and center it. Get an action bar two as well. I'll let you look at these real fast before I change. Six, six, four, two, and 85. So this I'll do the same. Six, six, four, two, and 85. that right on top grab my number one same thing six six four two and eighty five yep. now these action bars the columns I do is two or one I'm sorry and then I go all the way down to two buttons and I'm gonna move this on this side and as you see these squares right here I'm gonna I'm gonna scale it to fit those squares so I use two one four two one twenty seven I'll do the same with this two one 4, 2, and 127. These go on the other side, just like that. Now, my action bar 6, these are the ones that go on the side down here. We'll open this up. I have these double rows, so I go 6 column, 6, and then I leave that 12, 4, 2, 
And the scaling, I think I go down to 60. I'll have to see whenever. 65. I fit them in the boxes right there. 62. So I do 62 on this side. So it's 12, 6, 4, 2, 6, 2. And I'm going to do the same for this one. And you can leave this up if you want to leave it up so you can see it. I open this one. I guess you can't have both of them up at the same time. So we're gonna go six, twelve, six, four, two, and it was sixty-two. So twelve, six, four, two, and sixty-two. Sixty-two, and I bring this down here in this one. Yeah. Now I do bring my health bars down here, but we're gonna we're not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna add my menus there. My cast bar also comes down here. My pet action bar. If, if I have a pet, I'll just go ahead and show you this for when I play on my hunter. So I also keep this six six spacing. I scale it down if you see these little boxes right here I try to fit them in these boxes and that's 70 so if you have a pet 66070 easy now I'll go ahead and bring this down here just for now but we're gonna move it let's go to my target one this down here just for now now I'll go ahead and exit as you can see it's getting close I'm gonna go ahead and add my weak ores ones I've linked in my other video so you'll be able to see them uh, that? weak ores this will be my rage bar all my debuffs my buffs that I use reload and as you can see my if you plugged in those, the rage bar and the swing timer will pop in. And then I take my health and I put it on the tip corner of the swing bar for my unit frame. And my other one, right there. And there we have it. These are my two trinkets that I run. Let's go ahead and open my weak ores. Weak aura, trinket slots, move these up right there so I can see them. And I'll go ahead and turn on my all my weak aura so you can see them all. Sudden death, my rage bar, overpower hamstring this I do keep right here on right above the health bar so I know it's on the player my deep wounds my deadly calm and my colossus smash those are pretty much all I use for my weak ores as you can see close that out and that is my UI that's how I have my dominoes set up I hope that helped. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 